Hi everyone, my name is Lauren and welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is a newborn must-haves video. These um, items or products are just what I find to be must-have, but hopefully if you are due to have a newborn, some of these things you might have forgotten about and you can add them onto your list of things to get and they can help you out when your baby comes along. But anyway, let's get into the video. So the first must have I have is a baby nail clippers. We have a couple. The, the, I think the brand is Safety First. It's on the other pair that I have, it says what they are. I'm pretty sure they're Safety First. Um, but yeah, the newborn ones, definitely, because they are that much tinier. They also cut a lot better, even than, uh, better than most adult ones that I've found. So I really like the newborn ones. Um... So yeah, I just find these really good. They're little, so you're not scared that you're going to cut your little baby's finger off. Um, and also it will stop your baby from scratching their face, which they tend to do a lot as they start flailing their arms around more often. So yeah, the second thing is baby mitten. They are awesome for keeping your baby's hands warm, obviously, but also for preventing them from scratching their face. I find that even when my baby's nails are cut quite short, he can still sometimes scratch his face a little bit. So the mittens are killing two birds with one stone. So that's really awesome. My third must have is change stations or change boxes. Um, I have quite a few of these around the house. So I will insert a clip of the one that I have in the lounge and show you what is in there. Hey guys, so this is the box that I have in the lounge for changing Boston and I'm just going to go through and show you um, what I've got in there at the moment. So I've got a toy, I think I've got another toy, just a couple of toys to keep him entertained while I'm changing him. I've got a few bibs there um, and I just change those out as they need to be washed. Um, Got a couple of hats, I've got lots of nappies, I've got some wipes and some more wipes underneath. I've got a um, snot sucker, I think these are called, I don't know what the proper name is. Um, I've got a thermometer and I've got a spare dummy just in case his other one gets dirty and I need one urgently. And I've got a spare blanket. You usually have a couple more of them in here, but they are just in the wash at the moment. And I've got some nappy cream. Um, I do have a few different things in the one that's in my room. Um, just for when he has a bath and that sort of thing. So I've got um, like powders and that sort of stuff. But this is just the one that I thought I would show you guys today. Number four is a dummy or a cuddly. We use both. Um, obviously, some people don't use these or want to use these, but we choose to use them. And our baby really likes them. So the dummy that we use is these ones. They are the Nook brand. Nook, Nook. I say Nook. Um, and they have like the orthodontic um teeth i don't know if you guys can see that but yeah is the ones that he likes Urgh. um and also a cuddly we have one like this this time it's a little lammy and it's like fleecy we do have one that's not fleecy as well but yeah he just likes to have it to snuggle his face on when he's going to sleep number five is a baby capsule um we actually this time bought a car seat for boston it is a zero to eight years so they can use it right from the word go to when they don't need a car seat anymore but it is very 
bulky, which is fine. It's really nice. It's an awesome car seat. Um, but I find it's a bit bulky for um, when they're so little and also you can't take it out of the car. Um, I find a capsule is just really nice and handy for when they're little and you can take them out and carry them so you don't need to wake them up when they sleep all the time. Um, and they can sleep in it when you're out and um, you can just drape something over it and they're covered from the wind or the rain or whatever. Um, so yeah, it's been really good. So we did end up getting a capsule as well. So yeah. My next one is a head support for that capsule. Um, the capsule that we bought did come with sort of like the, the normal like head support that it comes with, but he was still like sitting like this sleeping like this all the time and it just looked really uncomfortable so we bought a head support so it's like tight in around his head and he just it keeps his head upright and I just think it looks a lot more comfortable and safer so his head's not flopping around all the time. The next one is a bouncer. Um, of course any bouncer that you like will do. Um, but I will insert a clip of the one that we have now. So this is the bouncer that we have. It is called the Ingenuity Automatic Bouncer in Avondale. I don't know if that's the colour of it or what. But anyway, um, so it's got the little um, seatbelt thing just in case, although it went he's this age he's not jumping around very much so it's not really necessary but never hurts to be safe um and then it's got the little dangly things here that he can look at and it has the controls here so um it bounces turn it on it sort of bounces which is supposed to mimic like a mother's rocking or there's a vibration one it just sort of like vibrates and then it's got um, lots of different sounds and things. And yeah, he really enjoys it. He usually just sleeps in it, but that's cool for now. So yeah. Um, the next thing is a baby monitor. I find the baby monitor really helpful. Um, we just have one that you can hear. We don't have a video one or anything fancy like that, but just being able to hear if he is stirring or crying or anything, if we're in the lounge when he's asleep, um, is really helpful and just puts your mind at ease. I think most, especially first time mums, um, would probably really benefit from having a baby monitor. But the next one is zippered onesies. So this is what I mean. So this is, especially for at night time, these are just really good to have the zip um, for when you're changing them because you don't have to fumble with a million freaking uh, domes or buttons or anything else that things can have on them. Um, and they're just nice and comfy and warm. So, yep, really like those. The next one is a dummy clip. So, we have this dummy clip. So, it just clips onto their shirt or whatever they're wearing. And then the other end hooks on to the little loop of your dummy. And I just find these really helpful for when you go out. When they're in the pram or anything like that. And they can't drop the dummy and it fly on the ground and you... A stack with a dirty dummy. So, yep. Um, the next thing is cotton baby wraps or muslin wraps. Um, we are using cotton wraps because it's winter and the muslin ones just seem a bit thin for me. I don't know, they're probably not, but... Um, we are using the cotton ones and they are really good. They have some stretch and you can wrap the baby nice and tight. Although he is starting to not want to be wrapped anymore. But they're still really good to have for drapes over your ca um, car seat, capsule, um, pram, anything like that. So, yep, yeah, we have lots and lots. You can put them down for changing them on or 
anything new. The next thing is baby wash, etc. Like um, baby powder, shampoo, that sort of thing. Um, I know that some people choose to not use these and just use water for when their baby's a little. Um, but I like to have them smelling really nice. And I just feel like it cleans them a bit more. I don't know. I don't know if they need it, but yeah, I just like to use that. So we um, mostly use Johnson & Johnson stuff. Um, I have some Curish um, things as well. But yeah, next is a sleep wedge. So this is what a sleep wedge is, for those that don't know. Um, it velcros together so that when your babies um, grow, get bigger, or whatever um, you can expand it um, to make them be able to fit so the baby just lies in here on their side and it just holds them in place so they're not going to roll onto their tummy or anything like that um, so if you are going to sleep your baby on its side it's just that much safer um, we weren't using it at to start because they do recommend that you sleep your baby on the back now but my baby has sort of like this gagging thing that he does and he did it at night and it really freaked me out so i was like nope i'm putting him on his side and he has really really enjoyed it so we have been loving that the next thing is plenty of stretching grows so these are what we call stretching grows here um and they just dome up at the bottom um they are awesome i have them on my baby all the time um, under his clothes or just as a shirt if it's a bit warmer um, but you can put juices over top anything over top and I just like that it keeps their back warm because it's um, domed up right down the bottom so I just really like this the next one that I have only finally just got for my last baby um, is a car mirror Ooh. So I have this um, dragon one. Sorry, I'll try not to shine you in the eye. Um, we have this dragon one, and it just sits on the back of your um, car when your baby is um, rear-facing so that you can look in your rear vision mirror of your car and see your baby and check that they're okay, not suffocating or anything crazy. Um, and he can also look in at, at himself in our car, so... Um, and he seems to like that so yeah um, and last but not least is a bottle sterilizer obviously if you're breastfeeding you probably wouldn't need one of these but I bottle feed and this has been really really useful for my other two babies I used to just sterilize my bottles in a pot for even ever and ever and it is annoying and it takes a long time but I don't know that's what I did <laughs> And this time I found this baby sterilizer and I got it really cheap second hand and it is amazing. So basically I think they're probably all different but this one is a Tommy Tippy uh, newborn one and you just just looks like that inside so you just take this bit out and you there's a little sort of hole in the middle that ring you just fill that up with water just normal water out of your tap and then you put your bottles and everything in there you can do dummies whatever you want put that on top just to hold them in place close the lid lock it and you put it in your microwave for four minutes and then take it out and they are all sterilized and awesome and clean for your little baby so yeah I really really love this so guys, that's all I have for my newborn must-haves video today. I hope you enjoyed and I hope it has helped some of you uh, think of some other things that you might need for your baby. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.